Don't do this at home. Normally I would put them out there where I'm going to set them at, but it's a little bit deep in the water where I'm going. Super dangerous. There are some trees down over there that they have yeah. chewed up. Whoa, whoa. Two trails. This is a where they're, they've got a den. There should be a hole in the trail going into the den. Watch these trees, they're thorny trees. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to try to put a couple of traps here. All I've got is these foot traps right now. Season's about over. We got about a, uh, less than five days left. And I've got a special permit in the works to continue trapping as long as the beavers create an issue here at this church. Normally people would use what they call a, a 330 trap, which is a body trap. But I don't have any. Holy oh, crap! Oh, oh, that was a close one. You think so? Yeah. Should have been in my book. Just don't step on it, huh? Well, the best thing is, don't slide down the bank. Once I set the traps, then I have to check it every 24 hours. So I'll be back in the morning to see if we've got anything. And uh, met with the wildlife biologist yesterday. 
and it looks like that this is probably just a juvenile hopefully it's not uh, too many and we can move them out but the much or mud there is so and then the church will be able to once we get the beavers out of here the church will be able to use this field because they always use it for activities volleyball kids playing so on and so forth and with the beavers here it's pushing the water out toward their parking lot they can't use the, the field as needed so we'll see what happens they're coming in and out of this thing here on up there there's trees down I sure hope so. It got turned. Yep. He said it all. He said it all? But he escaped. Tricky little thing. Beavers one, Boone in the Woods zero. Just had more of the legs there. So we'll just have to come back tomorrow. We'll have to come back tomorrow. That's what we gotta do. We can hit it with the front feet. What do we do now? Not fall, please. Something else. <laughs> so I busted the dam over there, I had the throat, and set the trap down. That water rushing, the hill feel the vibrations, and then he'll go to fix it. When he goes to fix it, hopefully we're getting. So we'll check back tomorrow. Today is day four. I'm going to check the beavers. To see if we caught one. So far, they've given us the slip. We'll see. They've thrown our trap a couple times. I think it's just one juvenile, smaller beaver. So we'll see what happens. What happens if you don't trap one today? We keep trying. So I've got a different style trap on the way. and we'll see what happens with it. But regardless, we will overcome. I've done this too many times not to overcome. Beavers are smart, but they're not smarter than Boone in the Woods. <laughs> Make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna Ooh, let the sunshine in the day And I will leave 
my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken It's deep And take this Weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes So I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way We walked right down here in the water Mm-hmm 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 I don't know if the camera can pick it up. What are you doing? I ran that stick down in that den and he came out yesterday. Oh, really? No, I just said that. But he didn't come out today. Oh. Maybe he'll be somewhere else. He may be out somewhere. Hmm. Why do you think there's so many vultures or oh, buzzards? I have no idea. Those are black vultures. They've been hanging around here for oh. a while. You know, I don't know that I showed that big, big tree. Look how they're chomping at it. I mean, that that tree is full of them. Oh, I really think so. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking up. We got the whole bunch on the other side. Oh, that tree. Oh, yeah. He did get chewed over. He definitely chewed up that tree. Well, no, no, more. No. Yeah, he's definitely chewed it more than the other day. See that old hole? Yes, I did. It's, it's an old mine shaft. Yeah. See that big tree over there? Yeah. I'm done. Okay. That's all we can do. The biologist told me the other day that the these black-headed vultures tend to follow the red turkey vultures around because their sense of smell is not like the turkey vulture. So they follow the turkey vulture around to find food. But he also said that they would uh, take small animals as well. It's hard for the community
got him? Well, it's been five days, uh -huh. and we've been trapping for the church to save their field. So we finally just got uh, the first beaver, and he's given us a run for our money. We sure texted the pastor of the church to let him know that uh, number one was called. She was a big one, was a sheep. And uh, so we left the traps out. We're going to keep an eye on them for the next few days just to see if we can get any more uh, action around the area. Uh, any new work. If we don't see any new work going on, which we busted the, the dam up a little bit, if we don't see any new work, then we'll pull our traps and move on. But the uh, pasture was tickled to death. So that just means that later on, they'll get to use that field after it dries up for the kids to play volleyball or whatever else that you're gonna do. So uh, stay tuned for more from Boone in the Woods. Thank you and keep on watching.